Behind me is one of the best night markets I've ever seen and one of the best night markets in Thailand, hands down. I came down here last night and had an amazing time. I had some delicious food. There are incredible Farang food options, Thai food options, all the classics, and some really crazy and unique dishes that I've only ever seen in this night market. And because it's Halloween, I'm gonna be trying foods that I normally wouldn't try, that scare me a little bit. We're gonna be facing my fears and trying some of the food that just looks a bit weird, looks a bit scary. <laughs> so yeah, come with me in the night market here in Udon Thani in Isan. Let's eat some weird food, let's have a good time, and happy Halloween. <laughs> GoPro for the first part of the video because I'm just going to take you on a tour and show you what's on offer because this is one of the most colorful amazing night markets that I've ever ever seen okay now I want to introduce you to someone that I met last night Sean he's called Sean I remember his name because he's uh, got the same name as my dad all right mate hello mate good to see you you too so I had an amazing kebab here last night chicken kebab with all the trimmings and I was talking to Sean so I thought I'd introduce you. Sean, how long have you been here? I've been in Thailand nine years, but in this market I've been six years. Right, and you're Turkish with a I London Turkish. twist? Well, yeah, because I live in the UK it's 35 years. Okay. So, yeah, well, I'm a Londoner, right? Eh? I asked him yesterday, don't worry. He's like half Tottenham, half Arsenal fan. Doesn't make any sense <laughs> to me. Well, I'm between him. <laughs> and so I was blown away by this market last night. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. amazing. So I've got some questions. Why is this market so good? Well, because of the, how can I say, the, the most, like a good food in Udon Thani. Yeah. To be able to select product here, you really have to be good, because the rent is expensive as well. Every shop that I'll show you in a second, I mean, just, I mean, we'll have a look here in a minute, don't worry. Everyone's bringing their A-game, the food's incredible. Thai desserts, Thai sweets, Thai food, yeah, meringue it's the, food. It's the, it's the, maybe, I mean, the, yeah. I travel most of the Isan. I lived in Bangkok as well. But this market is maybe, none of, none of, there is not the same type of market in Isan. This is the best. In selling. Thailand, in my opinion, and I've been around the block, trust yeah, me. I mean, All right, well, listen, I'll come, and, uh, I'll come and grab a kebab. I'm going to go eat some uh, right, scary Halloween food yeah, first. Try, try, try. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's a good lad. And I mean, he also does the homemade pizza here. We'll come and have a look at this later. Look at that pizza for a night market with mussels on. Oh, wow. Hello, Mac. Hello, Mac. So it starts off like a base and then they turn it into a delicious pizza. They've got an oven over here. Look at the salmon and the cheese and the chicken breast with all the, looks like, what is it? Cheese and spinach <laughs> inside. They've got roast potatoes ready to go. Yeah, we'll come back to this one. This is right at the entrance. And he is on grab as well. But we'll talk about him later because I want to show you a quick tour of the market. It's not very big. You can almost see the far end. That's the end. So let's do a quick tour. Let me show you some of the highlights and then we'll start picking some uh, scary foods to try. One thing that you are going to need, by the way, when you come to Thailand, other than sun cream, <laughs> is a VPN. I never really used to use a VPN until recently, and now I have one. I just can't believe I lived life without it. The company that I use is called NordVPN, and thankfully, amazingly, they're giving you guys a fantastic deal. There's two things that I really, really love about VPN. The first one is, and this is really useful when you're traveling and you have a bit of downtime, is you can quickly change your location to America or to the UK, because when you're in Thailand, websites like Netflix suck you know you don't have the full libraries but the number one reason and the thing that gives me the most amount of satisfaction with NordVPN is your security there is this thing going around at the moment called the man in the middle attack basically you know you're in Thailand you go to a little cafe you open up your MacBook or your phone and you want to connect to the Wi-Fi and it says cafe free Wi-Fi so you just click on that instantly but what you don't know is there's a dodgy guy in the corner who's created this Wi-Fi signal and when you log in he now has access or she <laughs> to your data your security breach and what god knows what else is on your system and yeah this has been going around for a while so nordvpn you turn it on and immediately your system is encrypted no one can get anything sensitive from you via your phone or your macbook really important and every time you turn on the vpn it says you are protected and you just 
you can breathe easy, you know you're safe online. So use the link nordvpn.com forward slash Paddy Doyle. I have it in the description and in the pinned comments below as well. And you can get a great deal, nordvpn.com forward slash Paddy Doyle. And of course, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this part of the video. So I think we should start <laughs> with a squid on a stick. Oh, she's got the big one. I'll tell you what, we'll wait till we get the smaller one. I saw a smaller one on the other side. Can't eat a giant squid like that. I'll be full in five minutes. Why don't we start with sushi? Okay, we're gonna try the sushi. They're really confused because everybody here takes their food home. There's nowhere to eat, unfortunately. There's no and chairs and tables. So, trying to just tell them that I was gonna eat right here with the tripod, they were so confused, bless them. Um, but there were 10 baht a piece, so I've chosen five. Five that I think look strange. <laughs> um, I hope I like this because they're right there. <laughs> um, so why don't we just jump in the deep end? There's one here which looks kind of crazy. It looks like a little baby octopus on some rice. Can you see? There's his head and there's the, the, the legs. <laughs> Mmm! I like it. That's actually alright. A little baby octopus and some rice. <laughs> I have to say, the presentation of the sushi is so good. 10 baht for a piece. What's that, like, less than 30 cents? This is the one that they blowtorched. And it's got fish row on there. Kind of looks like mackerel. Yeah, it smells very salty. Again, it's absolutely delicious. This one's the one that I always find the most off-putting. Just crab meat and looks like mayonnaise. Not a big fan of the way that this one looks. Oh, it's too sweet, man. When you come to Thailand, stay away from the mayonnaise. It's very similar to salad cream. It's so sweet and it just doesn't go with fries. It doesn't go with sushi. Oh, this one's tofu, so just stay away if you can. Anything with that white creamy sauce, uh, the mayo they call it, it's not. It's it's something, something else. <laughs> right then, so that's the sushi done. Uh, so me and my little tripod, we're going to go find another place to eat. And that was surprisingly very good. I'm glad I faced my fear with street food, sushi street food in Thailand. Nothing wrong with it really, except for the, the mayo. Now we've done bananas. And uh, it smells amazing, but should we do, let's do raw prawns. Hello. Uh, can I get some, some of this? Yeah, gong. Alloy mai? Okay, uh, nick noi. Oh so that was lucky. They actually just let me pay 20 baht for a taste of raw prawns. And since it was only 20 baht, I got some of the salmon as well. And it comes with spicy sauce, even though it's drenched in chili soy sauce and covered in fresh chilies. For some reason, they're like, okay, well, that's not going to be spicy enough for you. So here's an extra bit of chili sauce. So I think we should put a little bit on and then try it. I would never, ever eat raw prawns. I mean, obviously sashimi salmon is delicious. Let's start with the salmon because I absolutely love salmon. And look at here, the sunlight is shining through that because the sun is just setting behind us. Beautiful. Wow. Hello, Matt. What about the raw prawn? Ah! Wow, that's a new experience. I understand the concept, you know, it's, it's sashimi prawn and it is quite substantial. I'm trying to find words that are polite. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of raw prawn, but the salmon's nice. Okay, my mouth is on fire! Oh, should we try the squid with the eggs? Oh, look how pretty that looks. Soy, soy. Okay. 90 baht. I don't want to eat the whole thing, but you know, 
I also want to support them. So that's it, 90 bar, here we go. So you can see the bodies of the squid, but then they are full of eggs. Right. So the white meat is the squid, and then the yellow meat is the eggs. I've never seen that before. It's gonna be like a mixture between calamari and caviar, isn't it? Right, I'm glad that I've done 16,000 steps today. Because, uh, we're getting fat. <laughs> so, she drenched it in that chili sauce, which has actually got a little bit of fish sauce in there. Um, so it's fish with fish sauce, which is quite fishy. And if I say fish again in the same sentence, I might break some sort of record. Um, so, what do you think it's going to taste like? Obviously, we all know what squid tastes like, right? But with the eggs? Um, I mean, I'm glad it's Halloween because I would never try this. It just looks a little bit odd. Uh, let's get some coriander and some carrot in there for good measure. Squid with squid eggs. Mmm. 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 Okay, so it's cooked perfectly. The squid and the chili sauce. So the first thing that you do is you bite into it. With the coriander, it tasted amazing. At first I thought, wow, this just tastes like calamari. Um, but a healthier version, because it's not deep fried or battered. And then as I chewed it, and I worked my way around, my palate started to realize that there was something else there, and that was the squid eggs. And uh, it didn't really go down very well. There's something about roe, I think, and, and, and fish eggs, that when they're in this form, just kind of very livery, you know? I've got that kind of, um metallic -y stuff stuck at the top of my uh, mouth but the squid meat and the presentation incredible but uh, yeah I'm just not a big fan of the eggs but I don't think that's surprising because I'm becoming quite a boring fussy eater as I get older okay thanks for the eggs and the squids <laughs> Thank you. they just subscribed to my channel yay one extra subscriber what should we get next you know, I really just want to get the beef jerky, like, really badly, but it's not going to be a new or ex scary experience. So, we'll pass, unfortunately. Maybe tomorrow. <gasps> we have to try this, don't we? We have to get the shrimp. I haven't got a clue what this is, really, so let's just uh, see what happens. Can I get the small 60 baht? Pop to that. Yeah. So we've got uh, black and white pepper, looks like. Chili seeds, yeah. Lovely. Sugar. Some of this stuff, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what it is. Just, just chuck it in. <laughs> I ain't a chef, you know. I'm just like, oh, that looks weird. I recognize this. This is kind of like the base ingredients of a lab. Everything? Yeah, everything, yeah. Ah, and the shrimp are alive and they're jumping around. So they're obviously swimming around, living a great existence in here. Then they get dragged out with this net. Then they're kept over here to sort of chill out a little bit. And then they're thrown in here, alive, <laughs> and tossed up with the uh, dressing. They're alive. The shrimp are alive. <laughs> they're moving around. <laughs> There's a few of them that are squirming and uh, they look a little bit sort of uh, annoyed uh, because they were having a nice swim. Uh, I'm just talking a lot because I don't want to eat this, but it's Halloween. So down the hatchet. They call these dancing shrimp because I think dancing sounds cuter than trying to run away for the sake of your own life shrimp. Right, there's nowhere to run except for in my mouth. I'm sorry guys. Thank you. It's actually very delicious. But I can feel them moving in my mouth and I'm kind of scared right now. Wow. Okay. I just tried to chew them really quickly so that they all died. 
Like, I'm not a vegan. And you know, chicken, chop, chop its head off and get it on the barbecue. I do see animals as food. Except for dogs and cats. <laughs> um, but with shrimp, when they're alive, jumping around in front of you, it just triggers something in your head. Like, oh no, this isn't good. But then they dress it with that crazy, crazy, spicy, lab-esque dressing. The roasted rice and, you know, lots of chili, a little bit of salt and sugar, obviously, because it's Thai food. I don't think I can finish it. Oh, they just, one of them just jumped up and looked at me. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put these away. Um, I'm probably painting this market in a bad light now because I'm, well, I haven't enjoyed a couple of the things so far. But that's because I'm trying to choose the foods that look scary and that I might not like, and some of them I don't like. But honestly, being here, it's so good. The food is such a great selection. It's all colourful, it's all vibrant, and I really recommend this place. It's one of my favourite night markets I've ever been to. But uh, now it's time to go eat something else that I've never eaten before. Happy Halloween. Okay, so thankfully you don't have to eat it on a stick because that would just be weird, right? So I asked her and she actually, as standard, gets the chopping board out and she'll chop it up into little pieces and then she'll dress it, because this is Isan, in a crazy amount of chilli. And so here we go, uh, squid on a stick. Now, when you sort of move it around, you start to separate the different elements. So the squid's body is stuffed with squid sausage meat. So let's just push out the sausage meat and try it um, as a ring. This is squid that we've all sort of seen before in the West. Deep fried as calamari. But here, just grilled on a barbecue. Quite rubbery, quite chewy, yeah. Squid sausage meat. I don't know if this is the innards or what, but... It's not great, but it's not, it's not terrible. When I go to Spanish or Cuban tapas restaurants, I love eating the calamari like this. The tentacles. Yeah, you get a lot more texture, you get a lot more... The charriness from the grill. Right, um, that's enough of eating food that scares me. We faced off his happy Halloween guys, but I'm gonna go finish by going back to see Sean, showing you some of the uh, foreign food that he has, because it's quite rare to see foreign food, especially in markets like this, especially in areas like this, you know, in Isan, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, let's be honest. Uh, Sean, can I please back. have a kebab? Yes, you can. Thank what? you, mate. Small or large? Uh, let's just do small today, because I've just eaten a bunch enough, of food. <laughs> Right. Right, so, yeah, I lose track of days. Me too, because I work every day, so for me, every day makes money. Tomorrow, happy day off. Huh? Tomorrow. Yes, uh, tomorrow is a holiday as well. Yeah, it, it's Paddy Doyle. Paddy Doyle. D-O-Y-L-E. I've seen that, you know? Yeah, you might have seen it. I've driven around Thailand on my little motorbike. When I came to... Double D, yeah. When I came to Udon Thani last time, I went to the flowers and uh, it was Loi Kutong. So I kind of just passed through. So it's nice to come back, you know. I like this place. He's just checking out my channel. That's you, yeah? That's me. That's me. Pizza yeah. look, yeah. <laughs> well, I was there the other day. Thank you. I know, it's doing well, isn't it? So here we have yeah. Sean's famous chicken kebab. Sean, what's the actual name of the shop? Isan Paradise. Isan Paradise. And this market's called Uri Town. UD. UD Town on Soy 4. Yes. The link will be in the description. It's actually UD stands for Udon Thani. Oh, Udon Thani, of course, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this market video, this street food video. As you can see, this market, which is linked below, is incredible, okay? Incredible foreign food, incredible Thai food, there's dumplings here, all sorts, stuff that I could never show you in one little video. So come down and check it out for yourself. Maybe don't try to eat all the foods that you're scared to eat and eat something that looks and smells delicious. Um, I'm gonna finish this kebab, thanks for watching.
Mm. Simply delicious. 